Let's give an example of when we would want to use uh, a larger data type to represent a number. For instance, when an integer, which is 32 bits, when that integer value will no longer work for us and when, when we need to move on to a long data type. So to get started, let's illustrate when the integer will no longer work for us. Let's go ahead and once you have your skeleton C code, go ahead and save it and we'll name this one big numbers C and go ahead and save it. And the first thing that we'll want to do is go to a go to a command terminal. And in Linux there's a utility BC. Uh, I call it basic calculator. I'm not sure what the actual name is, but it allows us to easily do some calculations. So real quick, if you ever want to figure out the largest value that you can represent with a data type. Uh, for instance, we know that integer is 32 bits, so that gives us 2 to the 31 digits. So we this is the largest number that can be represented by an integer. And integer is signed, so we're not going to go into that yet, but it's signed, so essentially the largest number you can represent is this. And it's actually a negative, but we won't cover that. So just to keep everything within the integer data type and positive, we'll just use 2 to the 30 to pick a number that we're going to use for our example. So 2 to the 30th is this value, and we'll create an integer of that value. And then the next thing we'll do is double the value of A and save that as B. And then we'll print our values. And save that. Exit the calculator with the quit and let's compile it and when we run it and we see that the value of a is this which we set a to and then when we multiplied it by 2 we got a negative number which is the same I don't recall if it's the same value that we did when we did BC but I think it is and it is. So you see we got a negative number and that's definitely not what we want. So that illustrates that integer is not going to work for us. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is show you how you can use long to get around this limitation of integer data type. when We need a number that's larger than what this supports. So let's go back to our program and what we'll do now is we will use the long data type so long is 64 bits, which gives us plenty of room to hold two times this number. So let's go ahead and save that. And whenever we print out B, since it's a long, we're just going to change that format option. Again, if you want to see your formatting options that you print, go to the Wikipedia page. And it's a real good reference of uh, the format specifier for the different data types. So save this file, and let's go ahead and compile it. and whoops it's still a negative value so the, this is just a good point that I wanted to iterate is that just because your data type that you're storing it as is big enough it doesn't necessarily mean that the calculations you're doing will work because the registers on your system and your compiler may not be big enough whenever you're using a certain data type for instance this uh, integer value a is probably using a 32-bit register when the calculations are done. So whenever we multiply these two numbers, the registers are 32-bit registers, which they're using, and it doesn't work. So I just wanted to illustrate that in order for your calculations to work, you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily do an arithmetic operation on a number and be absolutely 100% sure that it's going to work just because you're storing it in enough bits. So once we make our variable A large enough and compile it, and let's change our format specifier as well. Now
now we have two times our number and you can clearly see why using a long data type would be beneficial because our integer value is not long enough and large enough to hold the value that we need it to.